If you're thinking of selling your house this spring, now is the time for renovations and for many homeowners. Finding the right people for those projects can be a daunting task. This week, we are showing you how to add value to your home, and we start today with some advice on how to pick the right experts. Carl Mascaranjas is the president of Casaguru.com, an online resource for us. You're going to walk us through that. Thank you for coming in. You're most welcome. And, you know, that's literally starting at the beginning. You want to find out, I mean, there's a number of different experts out there. You can flip through tons of yellow pages and white pages and all that. But finding the right one who's going to do the work that you need and safely is critical. Critical. Um, all the traditional resources are, are great to tap into. Uh, but rarely do they tell you enough about the professionals at hand, enough of the details you need to know before you start to compare them and meet with them, you know, and then hopefully hire one of them to uh, do whatever project you need done. And this is CasaGuru.com, and people can go on there for, and it's even a, even a little job, big job, doesn't matter? Uh, we have every type of house professional, okay. from home stagers through contractors, energy advisors to realtors, in one resource so that homeowners have a, a really convenient place to find those professionals. We have uh, tools on the site that are free that make it very easy to get matched. So you don't actually need to know which professional you need. You actually say what you want to do, and we'll do all the matching for you and give you the results that you need. Okay, give me an example of somebody sure. who wants to do a renovation, and they can jump onto the site, and they do what? Uh, they go to our uh, aptly named uh, Find a Guru tool. Okay. And what it does is it asks you a couple of questions as to what you wish to do and when you wish to do it. And uh, through the science of our website, we're able to find the right professionals in your area that have the right skills and experience and credentials to do what you need to have so done. So you're doing the background checks before you provide the, that kind of a reference? We do. Uh, we believe that every homeowner should do these things on their own, mm -hmm. but most don't know what to do and when to do it. So we've cut down some of that work by doing the background checks. And every professional we list on our site is screened thoroughly and annually so that we keep on top of their documentation to make sure everything's current for insurance or licensing, uh, proper experience and training. Uh, they have to be members of appropriate uh, associations mm -hmm. in their area. So we're trying to make sure that the creme de la creme of professionals in the house industry are on our site and available for every consumer that, that wishes to use them. So what would you say are some of the, the big pitfalls that people, you know, literally fall into when they're going about this? Right. Um, well, our homes are our biggest investment yeah. and also our, one of our biggest joys. We love to show them off. And we tend to rush whenever we're trying to do something to improve, you know, our space. That rushing is the, the cause of most problems because it, it means that we cut corners in the professionals we hire. Uh, so we don't ask for proper documentation like licensing, uh, that they're insured. Uh, we don't go through comparative process of multiple professionals, which is always key. Okay. Uh, and, you know, we don't do the proper documentation after the, the, the finding of the, the right professional so that we lay out all the expectations so both sides know, I must do this for this amount of money on this time frame. So that's one of the key pitfalls. And then now keeping receipts. We're hearing a lot of homeowners that are yeah. not keeping receipts from their projects, and uh, tax time is coming. And if you want to take advantage of the tax credit, make sure you have Which your receipts. Which is by the end of this month. That too. is right. Time's ticking. And then should point out, or at least ask, that the, the professionals that you would help other people find, it's mm -hmm. not as though they're getting a cut on your because they're using your website. That's not how it's done. Not at all. Actually, um, we, we're very proud of this, is that we actually will let any professional join our site for free. There you go. The, the reason that we're doing this is we're not trying to make it more costly for a homeowner, but we are, we are trying to help those professionals with credentials stand out from the rest. So we're here to help them connect with homeowners as much as we are to help homeowners to connect with those professionals. So CasaGuru.com, we just um, touched the surface of what's there, but there's sure. all kinds of information on getting permits, all that kind of thing everything. for any project that you Thousands do. and thousands of tips, videos, uh, contests, rebates, everything there for their home, homeowner or house professional. Mr. Macarenas, thank you very much for coming in. Pleasure to be here. Tomorrow we continue the series with the rooms that add value to your home and the ones that don't. Find out what home buyers are really after. And for more, by the way, on today's segment, log on to CanadaAM.CTV.ca and click on the added value section. You'll find CasaGuru.com is there as well. All week we're showing you how to get the best price for your home if you plan on selling it soon. There are several features home buyers are on the hunt for and to talk about the top ones. We're joined by <coughs> property appraiser Ed Sachs of, of Edgeline. Thank you very much for coming in Good to morning. talk about Thank it. You. And then there are certain rooms in the home that will have, have a better return in case you're thinking of renovating for sale. Definitely. Kitchens and bathrooms are basically number the one. They're tied. Yeah, they're the biggies. And they also cost a bit to do the renovations. Oh, there's, there's no minimum, there's no maximum. It all depends.